Hey ladies, this is Netta P from the Fashion and Lifestyle blog, XOXO Netta P. First up, I want to tell you a little bit about this dress that I'm wearing. It has nothing to do with the topic I'm going to talk about today, but the dress is so fabulous, i got to tell you about it. Stephanie Bazir, she is an indie designer from Canada, and she just has these wonderful, wonderful pieces, including this dress. So if you're in the market for a spring or summer dress, check it out. You can get the link on my blog at xoxonettap.com. Okay. So, being plus size sometimes presents issues that other folks just don't really think about, and somehow these issues, they just sneak up on you too. Like one day you wake up and walking for several hours can cause really painful chafing in places that maybe rubbed together before, but that you just never noticed sweating that much. I mean, is it the sweat or is it the rub that does it? Who cares? You just want it to stop. Say no to chub rub, ladies you can make it happen. There are several tricks out there that I've picked up as a stylist and just as someone whose legs have always rubbed together, squats be damned. But most of these items are available in the shop on my website at xoxonetap.com or in your local drugstore. So if you want to get it delivered straight to your door, head over to my shop. If you want to go get it today, head out to the drugstore or wherever you're going to pick the stuff up at. Tip number one, if you ain't got nothing else on hand, deodorant always works in a pinch. Just lift up your skirt, swipe some on, just like you would under the pitties, but just in that area. Just don't sit down until it dries, because that could be really messy. The drawback here is that sometimes deodorant can cause breakouts, especially if you're sensitive, so be careful and don't use it every day. If you're gonna, if you see anything weird developing down there, just yeah. I love a Dove, Degree, and Secret in that order. Uh, for these purposes, especially the extra strength clinical protection version of those deodorants, they seem to work really well. So tip number two, I've tried a couple of products on the market that are not deodorant that are meant to help with this problem. Monistat Soothing Care Chafing Relief Powder Gel, that's a mouthful. It's pretty much the bomb and it's regularly available at a lot of different drug stores, especially chain drug stores, so it's probably available near you. If you can't get it, you can or it online. It's in the section near the yeast infection stuff usually. I don't know why, I guess because it's made by Monoset, but hiding this John from us really just because that that's it's that's mean. It works between the legs just for walking around. I mean it's great if you're going out dancing or to the gym. All different purposes. The only drawback here is that it seems to start to take on an odd smell if you've been reapplying it all day. So just keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on it because you don't want to be, yeah. Ooh, mm -mm, yeah. Tip number three, Balmex, Desitin, Boudreaux's Butt Paste. Yes, ladies, all of these things are for diaper rash, and you think they're for our younger brothers and sisters, but they also have the magical properties of preventing heat rash. Woo! Or at least, you know, calming it down a little bit. Burt's Bees even makes a diaper oint ointment if you uh, want to keep it organic-y. I can understand that. This one is great under the boob area, too. To be honest, I mean, who wants a rash there? Ow. Ow. Tip number four. I recently heard about a product called Secret Shield from a friend of mine named Gabby who blogs at Young, Fat, and Fabulous. It's veggie based and it's from a company called Skin Dora. You can get it on Etsy, but I also heard that it's sold out, so you might have to wait a while for them to restock this product. I think it's handmade, so. It's also inexpensive, 10 bucks, love that. Um, tip number five, there's always the trusty bicycle short. If you don't wanna use chemicals, you don't wanna rub anything down there, buy a pair of bicycle shorts, no brainer. I love the ones from American Apparel in extra large, yes ladies, we can wear those too. You can even uh, pull them up pretty short if you're gonna wear a shorter skirt, or you can wear it down for that sort of 80s look, whatever you want to. And the good thing about American Apparel is they have them in all different colors, so I stocked up on a couple in black, I've got some in neon, you know, whatever I'm feeling for the day. It's good to just have a couple of those um, in your rotation and I treat them like I would leggings. I mean, they're not pants per se, but they definitely help for coverage and for chub rub. So anyway, those are my tips for preventing the awful, awful chub rub and I hope that you take, take me up on some of them and uh, I'll see you around. You can catch me on the blog xoxonetap.com or always on Twitter at netap, that's N-E-T-T-A-P, or you can always just see me here on Coco Perez. Love that too. All right, ladies, have a good week. Bye!